In 2007, Big Cat Rescue heard about the plight of the tigers and went to help. The sight that greeted Carol Baskin was worse than anything she'd seen before. As I looked around, I was just horrified at the thought that here are these four cats, they're really upset, they haven't eaten well in a long time, and now we've got to figure out a way to get them out of here safely without them getting hurt and without our people getting hurt. So it was a, a terrifying experience. The team needed to move the tigers out of the collapsing pens before they broke out. We had a large cage that would house two cats on each side. And so the plan was to get that up as close as we possibly could to the cages where they were located. They were in um, an open air chain link enclosure that was held up with these rotting posts of wood. And as I'm looking at this thing, I'm thinking, I could rip that apart with my hands. I can't believe this thing is even held together. So we pulled the transport around to the backside to try and get the cat to go through it and into the transport. The cat didn't want to go. She's banging against the walls. The whole roof is starting to collapse. And I'm thinking, any minute, this tiger is going to be out of here. It was so frightening for all of us to have to be there in that position. As the team struggled to move the tigers, Robert Bowdy looked on. I don't think he had any idea what was going on. He seemed to really like the fact that, they, that we had a lot of female volunteers with us, and so that was attention for him. But he was absolutely no help in getting the cats loaded. After hours of wrangling, all four tigers were loaded and brought to their new retirement home here in Tampa. The tigers who have come to Big Cat Rescue will have a place for the rest of their lives. We will take care of all of these cats here until they die of old age. But unfortunately, the cats from that facility that ended up in other locations and other facilities are probably not that fortunate due to the expensive nature of taking care of these animals and the difficult nature of providing caging and uh, competent people to take care of them. So often, these places close, the cats get sent to another facility, they close, cats get sent to another facility. These cats can live 20 years, and so they'll have multiple homes before they die. It's estimated that there are more tigers in captivity in Florida than there are left in the wild. And the same could be true of Texas as well. There's huge populations of captive tigers in Texas. They're spread out all over the United States because there's so little barrier to people getting them. They're cheap. You can buy a tiger for $200. They're not cheap to take care of, though. It can cost you $10,000 a year just in the direct costs for food and veterinary care. But people don't realize that. And so they get this cute little cub. And then a year later, they're calling and saying, how do I get rid of this animal? Because nobody wants it. The zoos don't want it. The sanctuaries are full and overflowing. It's a huge problem here.